Hey there, I'm Tanya Becker, creator of the Physique 57 Method, and I am super excited to share with you seven tips that will help you get the most bang for your bar practice. Number one, burn to earn. That burning and shaking sensation you feel when you overload your muscles or push them to that point of momentary muscular fatigue, that's the sweet spot. That's where change happens. And while it may be tempting to quit or dial it back, don't. Embrace the burn to earn those toned muscles you want. Number two, strive but don't suffer. While there's power in that burn, you want to know the difference between getting uncomfortable and feeling real discomfort. Bar is not a no pain, no gain mentality. So listen to your body and remember good form is key to seeing great results. Number three, tame your turnout. One of the most common mistakes when it comes to bar form is taking your turnout too wide. Unlike first position in ballet where legs are externally rotated from the hips, Physique 57's V position, where we bring our heels together, we want to keep our toes only two to three inches apart. This is more functional training. This strengthens the quadriceps, which is more beneficial to your daily movement patterns and activities. Number four, meet yourself where you are. Everyone's fitness journey is different, so don't be afraid to do what you need to do to make your workout work for you. There is no shame in taking modifications and to become more comfortable with your movements. You also want to incorporate more stretching to release those sore muscles. Number five, perfect your posture. Take time and learn proper form and bar. We work primarily from a neutral or natural curve of the spine, so you want to keep your abs braced, your pelvic floor engaged, and your head in line with your spine. Arms and legs should be extended with long, graceful movements, but don't be discouraged if you don't get it all at once. It is a practice, not a perfect. And number six, breathe. Take big inhalations to bring more energy into your body and deepen the movements for greater results. And finally, number seven, know your why. When you have a strong desire or passion for something, you're more likely to stick with it. Knowing your why and connecting to it will help you to stay consistent and establish good habits that will last a lifetime. I hope these tips help and I hope to see you at the bar soon.